Algebra 2, Chapter 5.3, Solving Linear Systems in Three Variables. Our prior two video lessons have been involved solving systems using first substitution and then elimination. In this video lesson, we're going to concentrate on using matrices to solve systems of equations. And again, we're looking for an intersection point of three planes, which is going to be our answer. And what a matrix is, it's essentially an equation reduced to purely numbers, and then you manipulate the numbers to obtain our answer. I'm scrolling to the place where we do this, okay? What we have is we have a system here, like on the left, 2x plus y plus 3z equals 20, and we can rewrite that equation as 2, 1, 3, and 20, and then 5x plus 2y plus z equals 21 is written as 5, 2, 1, 21, and then 3x minus 2y plus 7z equals 9 is written as, um, I think they actually got this one wrong, it should be 7, that should be plus 9. Anyway, 3, negative 2, 7, and 9. And what we're going to eventually work for through manipulation is to get this particular system of numbers into this form which is going to look like 1, 0, 0, and then uh, a letter I put A, which really represents a number, and the second row is going to be 0, 1, 0, B, and the, and the final row is going to be 0, 0, 1, C. And so our answer is going to be an ordered triple, or coordinate triple, And it's going to be the numbers that are going to be a, b, a comma b comma c, which represent numbers. And the operations we use to go from our original system of equations to reduced row echelon form is we call them elementary row operations, where we can multiply a row by a constant and we can add rows together to form new rows and, and gradually we manipulate the numbers to this reduced row echelon form. And when we have that, we have our equation x equals a, y equals b, z equals c. And we're going to go to uh, an example problem. I'm going to work out this one here, which says your turn. We're going to take this system of equations and rewrite it in our brackets here like this as x, 1x, plus 2y, plus z, equals 8. And the next equation we have is 2x, 1y, negative z, equals 4. And then we have 1x plus y plus 3z, equals 7. And this is called an augmented matrix. An unaugmented matrix would be the, just the left side. Anyway, what we're going to do is first change this to the second number in the column to 0. And to do that, we're going to take 2 of the row 1 minus the row 2. So I'm just going to notate the operation that we're making as we go, we evolve from one matrix to the next. So we maintain in row one, one, two, one, eight. And then our second row is going to be two R1 minus R2, which is going to be zero. And then two times two minus one is three. Two times one minus negative one is three. And finally, 2 times 8 minus 4 is 12. And then our third row will stay the same. So as we, as we go from one matrix to the next, we're only going to be changing one row at a time. OK, the next one, we're going to take this third number in the column, this 1, and make it 0. And to do that, we're going to take 
row one minus row three. And rows one and two will stay the same. So I'm just going to rewrite one, two, one, eight, and zero, three, three, twelve. And then we have row one minus row three, which is going to be zero. And then we have two minus one or one. Then we have one minus three or negative two. And then we have eight minus seven or one. Okay, and now I'm going to come to this next row to the left. And I want to make this number three a one. And to do that, what we're going to what we're going to do is multiply this whole second row by the scalar or factor of one third. So I'm going to put over here one third row two. And then that's the only one that's going to change. I'm just rewriting row one and row three. So one, two, one, eight. That's row one. Row three is zero, one, negative two, one. And then one third of row two is going to be, we just divide these by three. Three divided by three is one. Three divided by three is one. And then 12 divided by three is four. Okay, so next, what we're going to do is make, we're going to target this third number in the third, uh, the, the third number in the second column, we're going to make that a zero. And to do that, we're going to take R2 minus R3. And R1 and R2 are going to stay exactly the same. So we just rewrite one. 2, 1, 8, and 0, 1, 1, 4 for our first two rows. And then we have R2 minus R3, so 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus negative 2 is 3. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this third number at the bottom of the third column a 1. And to do that, we're going to multiply row 3 by 1 third. And we're leaving all the other columns the same, all the other rows the same. So we write 1, 2, 1, 8, and 0, 1, 1, 4. And now 1 third of this third row is going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. And so what we have now is we know the value of z because we have 0x plus 0y plus z equals 1. So we know that z equals 1. But we're going to continue and solve for the, the y and the x as well. And our next step is we're going to take this we want this number up here we want this number to be zero right here the second number in the third column and to do that we're going to take row two minus row three so i'm going to put r2 minus r3 and row one and row three will stay exactly the same so we write one two one eight and the row three is going to be zero zero one one and then our r2 minus r3 is going to be zero this is zero r2 minus r3 is one and now we have r2 minus r3 one minus one is zero and then four minus one is three and so now we know what y is equal to y is equal to 3 because we have 0 1 0 3 so the next thing we're going to do is get rid of this number 2 and to do that we're going to take this 
row one minus two of row three. So R1 minus two of R2, which is R3, R2. So we bring that down like this, and we have one and R1 minus 2R2, that's going to be 0. R1 minus 2R2 is 1. And then we have R1 minus 2R2 is going to be 8 minus 6 or 2. And then row 2 and row 3 stay the same. We already have those solve for y and z respectively. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this 1 here. And to do that, we're going to take this row 3, or row 1 minus row 3. So I put row 1 minus row 3. And that's going to change our first row. The second and third stay the same. So we have 1, row 1 minus row 3, 1 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, and finally we have 2 minus 1 is 1. And then rows 2 and 3 that we've already Uh, let's see, I think I messed up this one. It's going to be zero here. Yeah. There we go. Zero, three. They stay the same. We have zero, zero, one, one. So now we have our form where our ordered, we have an ordered triple. And that's going to be the coordinate triple. 1, comma 3, comma 1. And we can quickly look at our original system to make sure that we match. So if we have x is 1, 1 plus 2 times 3 plus 1 equals 8, check. 1 plus 6 plus 1 equals 8. Then we're going to have 2 times 1, or 2 plus 3 minus 1 is equal to 4, check. Then we have 1 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 7. Check. So we know this is our order triple. Now, as it turns out, I happen to have worked this same thing out for, for this system that was worked. It's, it's the same system, but I worked it earlier, and I used different manipulations that ended up getting us to the same result. And what we had to do in this instance use one more manipulation. I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you get a lot of other experience with this. I plan to make a video lesson shortly on being able to put these systems right into your calculator, in my case a TI-84 series calculator to using technology to do this operation very quickly. Good luck and thanks for viewing.